can I give attention to myself? Cut attention to everything else for a moment. You can do like that. If you cut attention to everything else, you'll find unexpectedly, surprisingly, everything is flowing fine. We're feeling that somehow it takes you to run the world. Well, it doesn't actually. You will then find the life that is the unfolding life, not the constructed life. Would we be content with the unfolding life? Because it is not deficient of anything. In fact, it is your happy life, it is your true way. But our conditioning, our coaching in life is to project an idea and try to fulfil it. We must try this, it is the game of life. And then when you see that uh, by your own projections, it does not bring you happiness, it makes you into a beggar, in fact. Hmm? Then somehow, maybe the bite of these experiences will turn your attention a bit to that which is not a beggar. What can we find out here today? which does not need to wait for tomorrow. Hmm? What can we find out here today? Because if you come for gold, don't leave with bronze. Gold is here, bronze is also here. <laughs> what can you discover today? That is not a contract. If you are going to keep paying attention to you know, the behaviour of your personality and mind, and again the person comes again, again the same old thing, how did it come to be there? It was not original to you. And then you are left with some tired energy, tired. Something in you is not tired, and something there is tired. Slack has no twang. Drained. What is that in you which is not a belief, does not need belief? It is. Perhaps there is not the appetite for that as yet. Maybe the appetite has not yet blossomed inside you. So there is still appetite for uh, something that also catches your attention easily. When it is grasped, it is the most natural, because it takes a lot of energy to be a person. It takes no energy to be yourself. Again, it takes a lot of energy to be a person or ego. High maintenance. It takes no energy to be yourself. And to give you an example, often when we meet or encounter other beings, so to speak, other beings like this, we bring a kind of a psychological self-consciousness is present. Have you noticed like that? There's feeling that somehow you're self-watching, and how you come across, how, how you're feeling, how you're perceived, whether you're going to be rejected, all of these. So it cannot be you. It cannot be what we are. As you discover your natural self, you are not intimidated into acting differently, or trying to be entertaining, or trying to be amusing, or something. You don't have to be a performer. 
So no rehearsal is there, no skill is necessary. You are just yourself. You're not even being yourself. Do you follow? You're not even being yourself. Because that will take another kind of effort. To be yourself is not yourself. So something has to change, isn't it? And it cannot be just covered over with clever, clever ideas or clever concepts. It has to be this way I say to put in, to reverse the glove. What it mean? To really offer oneself up and to approach your search with an attitude of some devotion towards the truth. Don't come with any arrogance. One must be somehow humble within one's own heart. You have no power to demand anything but to quietly look and follow, hmm? offer yourself up. to that uh, seeing, to that possibility. Don't let your mind go before you. Don't live as though you are in front of your mind. You cannot be in front of your mind or in front of consciousness. You must be behind consciousness. Your dynamic expression as life, your encounters, that is happening in front of you, just like the flow of sensations. Behind that, so to speak, you are present as that. At a certain point, your own attention is somehow incubating in itself, incubating inside the state of presence. And then the pull of the mind, the personal mind, becomes very weak and it becomes increasingly automatic that you simply are as you are. So I feel with you, I don't want to give any technique at all. Something has to somehow just surrender yourself or something, not just trying to work things out. That has served its place. It, is a, it has a, an importance also. Hmm? But not to rely only upon on this. If you have been pointed, and it's been pointed, but you are aware of this, as you said you are, I am aware that my bodily identity, uh, the sort of programming is not what I am. And yet, at the same time, there is still some attraction, some fascination, some pull, giving attention to that life which is, you know. And it is only there, this life that you talk about, which is trouble. You know why it is there? Because you see it. Can I say it again like this? The reason why that life is there and continues to be there is because you have an interest in it and you see it. And the very fact that you see it and take it to be something is the feed that you give to it, and so it perpetuates a delusion. When your eyes are baptized inside the ocean of your own self, when your eyes remain, only if you want to start at the place of the I am, you can say, the feeling I, I am, which is natural for you. And from this moment you can do it. The natural sense I am. It is not a person, it is not personal, it is not the body. Hmm? In fact, it has been referred to as the godly uh, state, the godly name and presence within you. That's your sense, I am. Start at the place of the I am, but don't put any image to it, don't put any associations with it. Try and just remain in the state I am. And don't put any future to it, no intention to it. As soon as you put your attention like this, some forces are going to come to pull you into a relationship. Then you are to observe them, feel the magnetism of them, but stay only in the sense I am. 
it will feel very difficult. Hmm? But by and by, you will gain the upper ground and they will diminish in power. That is the most practical, simple thing you can start. When, if you have done this, to isolate yourself somehow from the activity of the mind that wants to pull, to pull you into a story, into some relationship, feel the pull, but stay only as the sense I am, in which the pull of the mind is seen, and then somehow there is nothing constant about that. It will subside because it's not true. Only the true is continuous. <clears throat> The momentary is momentary. So it will come something to pull the attention. But you say, OK, something is pulling my attention here. But you say, but I'm aware of that. Just stay only as the awareness and it will go. And after a short time, you'll find just the space, the sense of space that we speak about, the feeling of just being, the sense of presence only, which is a beautiful state of being, hmm? remain. And then what are all I'm speaking to you will be assimilated in you very naturally without any effort. You just know it is. You just know that inside yourself. And then uh, there is one stage beyond this. When you are ready, we speak about it. Each one should be able to uh, somehow uh, recognize your natural I am state state of presence, you should be aware of this. And from this state, you, are, you have the power now to bring any chaotic state back into silence. You have the power, if you have um, been able to remain, to rest consciously in the state I am. Little exercise, do it then the rest becomes very easy. The most uh, spiritual effort is to bring the you from the state of the person into the state of presence. Uh, do you follow what I am speaking like this? Yes. It is the movement, the shift from person to presence. The person is a very fragmented state, very inconsistent. Uh, it says, oh, I want this, and when it gets it, uh, uh, can I have this? It is a very restless state. It's the state where you grow old very quickly. As soon as you are aware of the state of presence and come to see that it's natural for you, the waking state, this waking state, the ground of the waking state should be lived as the sense I am. In the sense, in the state I am, all your activities will flow in a new way. And your actions and thoughts will not be so consequential. They will be much lighter. So you can come to this. In satsang, it will happen for you very easily also, hmm? where you come to know just the state of presence. When people say things to you, uh, try to offend you, it will not come near you. It will feel distant. When so-called troubles would usually come, they will feel like they are there is space in you. Your being is not suffering any kind of claustrophobia. There is a sense that it is okay. Your powers of discernment become very acute. You can see, no, no, don't worry about that. It is okay, leave it, don't worry. But if you stay in the state of the person, it will always be um, unsteady. And you all know it also. So for someone like you, I would like you to be around maybe one week with me somehow. Should I say that? <laughs> to be in that, in, in that space, uh, so that uh, the little things you can see, and uh, sometimes unusual feelings will come. Here also it is going to happen. Hmm? <clears throat> there are some strange feelings. It is okay. In fact, it is part of your yeah, cure to be burped out, all these little strangenesses. For someone who is aware of the Self, it doesn't matter, these things. And because it doesn't matter to them, they cannot live, they burn right there. They, they shrivel up right there, because they have no food 
the food for these type of energies is interest, identity, meaning, habit. This is the food for these forces. As soon as you begin to discover your own self, which is very simple, you are finding it out now. It is already germinating, uh, unfolding more and more. With some beings, very simply, it's very easy. With others, it's just showing itself, and you'll begin to feel inside um, a kind of a kind of fizz, like a soft current, and that seems to just wash uh, your mind out, leave you in that beautiful inner spaciousness. Hmm? And then you will come to know, without having to hear from others, that it is quite natural for you to be happy. It is quite natural for you to be free. Hmm? That emptiness, this emptiness, this unplanned, unpractised emptiness, hmm? is the most agreeable state for you. Hmm? And it within that will develop a deep yearning to complete your journey. How long it will take, we will see. But truth is on your side, because that is your fundamental nature. It is not something you are going to develop or cultivate. You cannot help, you cannot help it. The you that I am presently speaking is only because I am learning it from you, to call yourself uh, your, your portrait. Presently we are living as the portrait that consciousness has made of itself. It is okay, it is fine, but it is not okay to only be the portrait. Hmm? You must know the painter also. And also the painter himself is also painted. The painter itself is also a picture. Ha <laughs> ha 